In this video, we're gonna bring life to the feet with a really quick and energizing massage that you can do yourself to your feet. A great way to start the journey of healthier and happier feet. Okay, we're going to start out here by grabbing the big toe and pulling the big toe up. So pulling the big toe up and releasing. So pressing the big toe mound onto the ground, pull that big toe up, activate the arches, and pull down. So this is really great for cramping on the feet. So I'll do it on the second side here. Have your feet there. Uh, fingers around the big toe, pull the big toe up. Then I can work here. and release. Okay, so we can start out by wrapping a belt around the toes here, around the mound of the toes. So wrap that belt and then break the belt. Okay. So here is just to illustrate that when we are separating the toes from each other, we're separating the mounds away from each other and that will spread the toes for you so that healthy balanced strong feet that can you know grip and be very in control of the body and how to carry it throughout this beautiful planet so separating the mounds of the feet there we both go. feet and when you're done we'll start working on the feet here okay so I'm going to start on my right foot first, and I'm going to start by massaging the area in between each toe. So if your feet are very painful, um, do this very gently and slowly work it yourself up. So working in the middle of each finger. So first, I'm gonna look at this toe line here and then I have this, so all my different toe lines, so I'm gonna work here. So first on top of the foot, working on each line, and you can do you know, anywhere from a minute to longer, and then on the bottom as well, so working that first line. And working on the ball of that, that mound of that toe okay and then we go to the second one and just know you know noticing all of these arches so you really want to lift the arch you never want these bones of your arches going down towards the floor so massaging here and then we move on to the next arch between the third and the fourth arch here. And we do the bottom. Fairly strong, but not hurting um, the foot. So going from the toe all the way down to the heel. all the way down through the heel and pull the heel back. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth arch, really bring those toes back to life. And while you're doing this, make sure that you're not holding your breath. So you're breathing and not holding any tension in the eyes, the ears and the throat. And just the fact that the hand, that you're using your hand, hands on your feet, it's nice to use props, but it's really nice to use your hands also. And so now working on the pinky, which generally, you know, we start losing that connection of being able to move the pinky. So it's important to work on the pinky. All the way to the heel. 
and then breathing while you're doing it so you're not holding your breath. Okay. So then work on your big arch here. So from the heel all the way to the ball of the toe. And you can take a break <laughs> and then do one at a time from the heel to the ball of the toe this time. And okay, so once you've finished all of the arches, then remember there's four points. So in the previous videos, we explained the four points of the feet and how to lift the arch. And so here are the four points of the feet. So two out on the outer and inner um, ankles, heels, and then one on the mound of the big toe, one on the mound of the little toe. And so these, you know, these are kind of, if it were a bridge, these are the big posts of the bridge. And then here you have your arch. So come into Tadasana and spread the toes as much as you can, lift the arches and notice the difference between your feet, all right? Come down and we'll do the same thing with the left foot. So starting on the big toe end and working all the way up to the pinky. Now we can start moving these mounds of the toes away from each other, right? So we spread, spreading the mounds, creating space on the mounds of the feet. So space here, here. So we're not hurting the feet in any way, right? Just really breaking up any tightness and bringing the mounds of the, getting a little bit of space in between each toe. Okay, now we'll stand in Tadasan and see how that feels. Come to Tadasan, really spread the toes on the mat, place the four uh, pillars of the feet into the ground, lift the arches, lift the knees, and take a deep breath without holding any tension in the eyes, the ears, and the throat, lift the arches. Lengthen. We can start lengthening here from this big toe to this side of the heel. So create this lateral length or this kind of cross the foot length. So plant the big ball of the toe and create that length that goes through the arches to the heel. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll bring the, the feet together. If you need to sit on a height here because this is too uncomfortable, go ahead and sit on a height. But we're going to interlace the toes. And if you have a broken um, toe, uh, just be careful with this one. But we are going to to bring. <laughs> okay, so we have all of the toes interlace like this and then we bring the feet together and up and out <laughs> and then we do it again this time whoever whichever toe was on top we switch making sure that you're being very careful so that you don't, if you have a broken toe or one is very tight, that you don't overdo this, but you can play with it, you can have fun with this. And stand in Tadasana here, see how that feels. 
Do you feel energy in the feet? Do you feel like it's easier to lift the arches here? How do the legs feel? Again, not blocking the breath, making sure you're breathing. I hope that you enjoyed this work with the feet and that the massage is energizing and brings life back into your feet and starts that journey of happier, healthier feet for you. Um, I will link some useful videos below that you can. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.